Well, good evening, everyone. How y'all doing? We are... Your name? Oh, I am John. <laughs> I am John Wright. And I am Ansie Wright. And we are from Lake Charles, Louisiana. And we are doing a video um, to introduce our new YouTube channel, which is the Wright's Homestead. Wright's Homestead in the city. Homesteading in the city. And we decided to do this because... There's so many people out there that are wanting to do this type of lifestyle. They want to learn. They want to learn, and they think that they cannot do it because of the space that they're in, because they don't own farmland or they're not in the country somewhere. So we have been experimenting um, over the past few months, and we decided to take y'all on y'all on, on our little journey on. On what we're doing so yeah one one thing real quick we tried to do this in our front yard where we've uh, turned it into a little homestead with with all our plants and stuff and but we got attacked by this crazy thunderstorm and it run us in the house right we, so, yeah the video started, we was doing the video here we are in our kitchen <laughs> so yeah we're yeah, in the kitchen so. right now um we was set up outside and then uh, this major storm just came yeah in, so. who knew <laughs> so we just we decided to come on into the kitchen but we okay a, a little story a little backstory um we started this after the hurricanes came through our area and Hurricane Laura and, and Delta and, Delta. and, and it and pretty flood. and it pretty much wiped all the trees off of property. Now we live in the city. We live on a corner lot in the city. Um, but we had some trees and stuff and it just took everything off of our property. And so we were um, in April we were both sick with COVID. And we started watching YouTube videos and watching all the homesteader videos. And yes. and then one day we, we were like, you know what? We don't use our yard for anything, absolutely nothing at all. So why don't we turn the whole yard into an edible garden? That's right. And so that's that's we're on that journey right now. And we're, we're in the beginning of it. We're in the we're pretty much in the first stages. We did plant yes. a summer garden just to kind of get our feet wet, you know, a little bit on. And on it was the beginning. It so was. We didn't it have was, every garden, every. Oh every no, we had to start from scratch. We, want, we, we absolutely had we, to start from scratch. We did. We started from scratch, mm -hmm. and we're trying to do everything above ground beds, you know, because it's just it's actually easier on upkeep, mm -hmm. and then we're both busy during the day so we can't get to it right right so we um we're taking this journey and we want to teach y'all along with us learning ourselves how to homestead in the city in small areas and just to show y'all that it can be done okay yes. that you can grow your own food you know where it's coming from um you can, depending on where you live, you can even even have small animals that you can harvest that meat as well, which we will be going more into detail with that as the videos progress. Yes. And, um, we, we plan to do as much as we possibly can. She already cans like crazy. Cans everything. Yeah. Makes so, uh, all kinds of stuff from, from stuff to make you feel better to just food. Mm-hmm. Just food, canning food. We're gonna do that. We're gonna jump, and y'all are gonna travel with us. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna preserve meat in canning. Mm -hmm. We're gonna smoke our own beef jerky. We're gonna make our own tasso. Mm -hmm. We're gonna uh, learn how to to smoke meat and and be able to preserve that and open a, a a meal that's already ready to go. And and we are just going into this thing. Mm -hmm. And it's going to do everything that this little small lot, this is not an acre, it's not a quarter acre, it's not a half acre. It is a lot. It's a corner lot in the city. And we're going to do what city. we can do. <laughs> and um, you know. our next video, we'll do a tour of our property and kind of show you what we have, what we've started. Today we planted our um, seeds for our fall garden. So you'll be on well, that. Just a little late, but maybe not. No, we're not late. We're not? Okay. Because no, no, there's I'll still some we stuff we can plan in a couple of weeks. Because where we're at here in Lake Charles, Louisiana, we don't have normal weather. So no. we don't have an, our, our first frost might not be until December. So, yeah, that's um, true. you know, 
So, um, but you'll be on that journey when we, we start the seedling process and get the fall garden going. And hopefully by then we will have our chickens because our chickens is our next step. Uh, so, but we, we started this to eating healthier for, for several reasons. Health, um, John has a health condition, yes. um, a nerve um, autoimmune disease that toxins and chemicals just like ravage his system plus we none of us needs that anyway so that is why we kind of started looking into living this lifestyle and once you start researching what actual um can be approved by the government to be in your food you really don't want to eat it anyway so That's we right. just we just want to know where our food's coming from what is going into it and the satisfaction of growing your own food and harvesting your own own meat is is just it's just a, a joy that it brings to you, and it you you tend to appreciate it a lot more. Right, and and another note too here on you know we don't know where we're going. We have a certain situation that has affected this comp this country in a major way, to where our uh, you know all over the United States the the shelves in the grocery store. We're literally barren. There's in, supply, in, yeah, to be at, able to. At time to get, you know, at times to get anything, mm -hmm. you know, and it would scare you and make you think, where am I going to get a roast for dinner for today or tomorrow mm -hmm. or the next day? Where am I going to get my corn for, where am I going to get my cereal? Or your eggs you know? or, you know. Or milk, the the, mm -hmm. the thing we we take kind of for granted. And where are we going to get that, you mm -hmm. know? And, and so... Not only that, are we going to have power tomorrow? Right. You know, are we going to have light? Are we going to have the power to make this video? Right. So, so we're going to touch on some things and uh, to help people, and you know, and and I plan to do some some things, and and I would like to video it and let y'all just come along with me, and I'll rig up some way to make the most out of like a small Honda generator to where we don't use much gas during a day. And we can mm. function, right. you know, and 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 yeah, we're we're in the city. We're not going to live completely off grid or anything like that. Don't mistake me, but but we, we are. are in Louisiana. And we have just had to deal with a lot of zero power, and we we twice. are almost a year out from the hurricanes last year. And it's still and not repaired. We still haven't even started the repairs on our house. The the, the in our city. It was wiped out completely, pretty much. And so there are still so many places not open, There's still people. down. People that are homeless um, because they're they have saying, no house. They're saying, what am I going to do? You know, they're saying, yeah, exactly. And so we are trying to learn ourselves and educate others on how to be more self-sustainable in such a disposable world. How to be able to um, handle situations when they come, when there is no electricity, when there is no food. So we want to be prepared and to be ahead of the game for if and when that happens again, that we don't Not have to worry that we'll about that. Not saying we'll actually be able to get all the way ahead, but we'll at least be close we'll be, to it. We'll be know. ahead of the game, yes, you know, because we we'll, we'll be able, for we're growing our food, we'll be That's able right. to, to go right. out and we'll always have food. So we just wanted to invite y'all to our new yes. YouTube channel. And it's going to be fun. And we want to have a blast. <laughs> it will be fun. We want you to have fun, you. too. Yes, it's going to be some entertaining videos, I guarantee. Yeah, because you so. can't have this text in the middle of nothing and not have fun. Right. Yes. <laughs> so, thank you all so much. Um, please list any questions that you might have for us, and we'll answer them. And we hope to, um, to see you all very soon on our videos. Thank you all so much. Yes. We love you all, and night. God bless.